Okay, I'm standing in our powder booth here. I just kind of nailed down. This is like the back of our powder booth. This is where our filters are at. And we've talked about a little bit about overspray and how when we're spraying it with powder coating, since we have the electrostatic charge, it's usually wrapping around the parts. There is a lot of overspray that just ends up in the air. So that's why we're doing it inside a spray booth. It's quiet in here right now because I don't have the fan running. But if the fan's running, it's really loud in here. And what that's doing is creating airflow and it flows and it pulls any powder that doesn't get on the parts and stick to the parts because of electrostatics. And if, if it's falling to the ground or just floating past, the fan pulls that powder into these filters and then the clean air goes back up and recycles to the shop. The overspray powder, the waste gets stuck in these filters or down on the floor underneath. So this is a lot of different colors of powder down underneath here. At the end of the day or the end of a shift, we turn our uh, purge system on. There's actually air that pulses through these filters and that knocks off the loose powder that was sprayed that day. Gives you longer life out of the filters, but what ends up is we have a lot of powder that's piled up at the bottom down here from all different colors. So we spray to waste. We're not reclaiming any of this. There are some batch booths where you would have a tray underneath here and you would actually reclaim that powder. But since we spray so many different colors in a day, it doesn't make sense for us to take the time to reclaim each individual powder. And some people might argue with me on that, but in our eyes, it's more cost effective to just spray that to waste and not spend all the time and effort trying to reclaim all that powder. If we were spraying the same color powder seven days in a row, I could see where that would be beneficial to reclaim, but that's just not what we do. On an automated line, you see a real similar setup to this, except normally this is along the side of the booth and the air is drafting to the side. And a lot of times on the line, you're spraying the same color all day, every day. There would be like some duct work almost, you could call it, or some trays that would actually funnel all the powder down um, and be able to reclaim automatically right away, it would mix back in with the powder, your good virgin powder, and you would be constantly recycling the powder that this, that's going to waste would be coming back in and you'd be spraying again. And that's what happens on an automated line if you're running the same color all day, every day. That's how Reclaim essentially works. But again, we spray to waste. So any waste powder that doesn't land on the parts, it's either ends up 100% on the floor, the fan doesn't catch it, or the fan catches it and pulls it back to the filters. We're usually sweeping the booth, so we'll sweep this floor. The powder ends up back here. So eventually, you know, after a couple of weeks, that powder gets piled up quite a bit. We can take that out and then that's waste powder and we have to dispose of that properly. But uh, that's how we do that. It's, the overspray and powder is a little bit different than what you would have in liquid paint, right? So when you have overspray with liquid paint, that's like wet, because um, it's wet paint. And so it lands and sticks on stuff and then dries. Your booth really usually gets pretty nasty. Your filters get all plugged up and there's no just like blowing them off because this wet paint that has dried, it's clogged them up. So then you have to replace those filters, have to scrape the sides of your booth down or peel the sides of the booth down and put a special coating on there. So the paint, the new paint doesn't stick to it or the new overspray. But in powder, it's nice because it's a dry powder. So it cleans up really easy and um, sucks to the filters pretty easily and then the filters can be purged and so it gives you a lot longer life out of these filters usually we only have to change them about once a year the only problem is and, and hassles you got to deal with this if you're spraying to waste you got to deal with this waste powder but it's really not that bad as long as you dispose of it properly and, and have done your homework it's really not that big a deal that's where the powder goes it doesn't land on the parts and two main things you can spray to waste which is a lot of small batch booth shops do, or you can reclaim. It's up to you. Uh, it just depends on what you're doing in your process for which one's gonna be more cost effective.